And what I'm going to be doing is demonstrating how to walk the cup. And with this TIG rig and on flat plate, the best way to do it is really do it in upside down the way I'm doing it here. Normally when, mo what, when they do TIG welding, they do it right this way. Uh, I do it this way on plate uh, for the simple reason is when you're welding on, on, on plate, if you start walking like this, the traditional way what you're going to end up doing is walking into it. But if you, do, if you do it this way, then I can walk continuously from one end to the other. All right, so when you're doing walking, when you walk in the cup, really there's, there's two or three methods you can use. What I like to call is the rock and roll. What you're going to do is actually walk the cup and you're going to rock it. Just the motion itself is going to make the, the cup travel. And then another, the, the, another technique is what I like to tell the students is you can, you can sweep it. You sweep it from side to side. And regardless of which technique you use, the, the end product should look exactly the same. When I'm, doing, when I'm demonstrating for my students, I'll start off by, by rock and roll. And then while I'm still going, I'll, I'll switch to the, to the sweep motion. And when I finish, I ask them to look at it and I say, can you tell the difference when, from the rock and roll and, or from the sweep and, they, and you look at the beat and you can. Uh, so if you learn how to do it properly, and so let's try it. And again, as I stated, in order to make a good look and weld, you really have to have good clean metal. Any surface contaminants, even the scale or rust on the metal, even when I'm welding with TIG, since it's an art, really, I, I, even the rod, I'll, I'll, I'll always have sandpaper with me and I'll sand that coating off. Uh, everything's got to be really clean if you want to make a really nice looking weld. And so that's the walk process right there. It's a very good machine. I, I, I really like it. Very smooth. It does uh, all the processes, so it does everything that we would do. Uh, we need to teach there at Del Mar College. What do you teach at the college? I teach welding. I'm an associate professor. I've been teaching at Del Mar College in Corpus Christi, Texas for 15 years. Uh, so I know a little bit about machines. I've been in the business for a little over 35 years as a welding inspector, welding supervisor, combo welder, rig welder. So I know a little bit about welding. This machine in its price range, there's some competitive machines out there that have a lot less features for the same amount of money. What you're getting here is a full featured machine, ACDC. It's fully equipped with pulse, got gas purge. You can walk through all of the different settings for your weld currents. Pulse from zero up to whatever you want for your pulses per second. High, low current. One of the nicest, a couple of the nicest things, you can adjust your wave balance for cleaning and penetration. So you can make it so it has more cleaning, less penetration for more power, and vice versa. It has arc frequency adjustment, so you can change the hertz. Raising up the hertz to a higher level constricts the arc down to a nice, t tight, shiny point. It allows you to do thicker material with a smaller machine. So the machine really is full-featured, and for the cost of it, it's kind of in a league of its own.